Isaiah Thomas is a legitimate MVP candidate. What happened last night is not supposed to be allowed to happen. He's not supposed to be allowed to score 50 in a playoff game. It's never easy to be a good basketball player, especially when you're always the smallest guy on the court. But Isaiah Thomas beat all the odds. This is one of the most inspiring stories in the NBA, the story of Isaiah Thomas. In case you don't know it yet, Isaiah was named after the Detroit Pistons Hall of Fame guard Isaiah Thomas. IT's father, James, lost in a bet with his friend that if the Pistons win the 1989 NBA Finals, he'll name his son after his Lakers rival, Isaiah Thomas. It's crazy to think that IT, named after one of the best point guards in NBA history, will be an NBA superstar himself. Isaiah was born in February of 1989 and was raised in Tacoma, Washington. His father was 5'6", and his grandfather was 5'6". Isaiah was not blessed with size either. As a kid, he was always the smallest in his class, but because of his father's love for basketball, Isaiah fell in love with it too. According to his father, Isaiah would carry a basketball around even when he was a toddler. Fast forward to 2006. Isaiah attended Curtis Senior High School in University Place, Washington, and eventually finished his senior year at South Kent School in Connecticut. He consistently studied tapes and patterned his play style with Tony Parker and Steve Nash. He also worked on his shooting to deal with his height disadvantage against his competition. Isaiah started to become well known and his games were always filled with fans hoping to see IT play. He averaged more than 30 points per game and proved that he's one of the best high school players in the country. But he never became a five-star recruit and a lot of people didn't really see him as a future pro. Why? Again, because of his height. Thomas ended up ranking at number 14 point guard and number 92 player in the nation. After being passed on by top-ranking schools, Isaiah eventually announced his commitment to a less popular University of Washington. In his freshman season, he averaged 15.5 points and 2.6 assists per game and was named Pac-10 Freshman of the Year. With his elite work ethic and competitiveness, Thomas became one of the most sought-after prospects in college. In his junior year, he scored 28 points against Arizona in the championship game of the Pac-10 tournament, where he hit a game-winning buzzer beater in overtime. He declared for the NBA draft in 2011, having a number of college accolades. He was definitely one of the best college prospects in the country, but still, not a lot of NBA teams believed in him because of his size. Thomas became the final 60th pick in the draft, selected by the Sacramento Kings. Being passed over 59 times, this just served as fuel and motivation for him to spend countless hours in the gym to improve his craft. At the start of his rookie season, Isaiah didn't have a consistent role as well as playing time. He had his first career start in February of 2012, where he averaged 12 points and 4.4 assists per contest. He was named the Western Conference Rookie of the Month that same month. He had some remarkable games during this stretch, 23 points against the number one pick Kyrie Irving and the Cleveland Cavaliers, and 24 points against LeBron James and the Heat. In his third year in the NBA, Thomas averaged 20 points and 6 assists per game, becoming just the fifth player in NBA history under 6 feet to achieve this feat. Despite all of these, before the start of the 2015 season, the Kings let Isaiah walk and chose Darren Collison to be their primary point guard as they insisted that he's a better playmaker. Thomas eventually signed with the Suns to team up with two more point guards, Goran Dragic and Eric Bledsoe. But this experiment did not work and Isaiah was traded midway into the season to the Boston Celtics. Thomas did not start on his first season with the Celtics, but the team gave him more responsibilities and more touches that he definitely deserved. 
He played his first playoff game in 2016 and posted 22 points and 10 assists, but they were swept by the Cavaliers in the first round. In the 2016 season, Thomas developed into a legitimate NBA star. He became the Celtics' starting point guard and provided Brad Stevens' leadership, floor spacing, and a reliable fourth quarter scoring. He averaged 22 points, three rebounds, and six assists and was named to his first All-Star selection in his career. Isaiah continued his brilliance. He consistently put up huge numbers and became known as one of the best scorers in the league. IT led the Celtics to the playoffs where they matched up against the Atlanta Hawks in the first round. He led his team in points and assists average with 24 and 5 while playing 37 minutes per game. In Game 3, Thomas exploded with 42 points while shooting 50% from the field. However, they were eventually eliminated by the Hawks in six games. The following season, Isaiah just picked up where he left off. He averaged a ridiculous 27 points, six assists per game in the first 11 games of the season. He earned the nickname King of the Fourth because of his exceptional display in the fourth quarter. In the postseason, Thomas led his team to a first-round victory against the Chicago Bulls in six games. Before this series began, Isaiah found out that his younger sister died in a car accident back in Washington. He attended her funeral and flew back to Boston to face the Wizards in the second round. The Celtics took advantage of their home court and won the first two games. In Game 1, IT scored 33 points and in Game 2 he put up an absurd 53 points. They eventually won the series in seven games to match up with the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Celtics lost the first two games in the series and Thomas was ruled out for the remainder of the postseason with a hip injury. With IT's development into an NBA superstar, he finished the regular season with an average of 29 points per game and the playoffs with 23 points and 7 assists. He finished at the fifth spot in the MVP voting and competed against the best in the world in Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, and LeBron James. The 2018 season was the start of Isaiah's career's downfall. He was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers and struggled to stay healthy, missing the first 36 games of the season. Midway through the season, he was dealt to the Lakers. In March of 2018, he was ruled out for the rest of the season after undergoing a surgery for his right hip. In the 2019, 2020, and 2021 season, Thomas was passed on to three different teams. The last team he played for was the New Orleans Pelicans, where he signed a 10-day contract in 2021. He played four minutes and scored two points in April. This was the last time we saw Isaiah suit up for an NBA game. There have been reports in the past weeks that several teams are interested in signing Isaiah Thomas, including his former teams Los Angeles Lakers and Boston Celtics. In a recent interview, IT confirmed that he is 100% back physically after dropping 81 points in a Pro-Am game. And as a basketball fan, I can't wait to see Thomas back on the court and get his much-deserved NBA return.